So here in the bedroom, we had this big white wall with the white door after we painted. And I really didn't like how just benign and white it was. So I saw on a Less Junk, More Journey video, which will be linked in the cards above, uh, they had a barn door in their Airstream, which I thought was really awesome. But I don't like making something that can only do one thing. So I also need a, like some kind of desk space or like platform in the bedroom because I co-host a podcast and I when I record, like, I end up having to lay on the bed and it hurts my back after a while because it's not very comfortable. Uh, and I looked at this and uh, I put the masking tape and drew the lines up here so I can get a better visualization and make sure it's something we actually, something that we actually want. Sorry. So I think I'm going to take all this trim will just be quarter inch plywood that'll be on top of a door that I'm going to build with these lines and stuff in it. So I can kind of hide a, a chunk under here, have this band in the middle on top of this and have it on hinges that will fold up. And then this will be a little bit deeper, it won't be so shallow. So rather than breaking up the lines that you can see, I will break up this kind of hidden space at the bottom. So that's the idea. Barnwood door in our RV that is also a desk for podcast recording or writing or whatever. So a door and a desk at the same time. So I think I can do all of this, all the door itself minus the trim with a single sheet of plywood, which is about $35, $40, depending on where you go. And then I can try to see if they have some scrap quarter inch plywood for these big pieces in like the bigger off cuts back in the back of the store. So I'm hoping to spend less than $60 on this project. That's the goal. We'll see how it goes. A door and a desk in an RV for less than $60 with an RV workshop and help from Lowe's. Sure. We're not biting off more than we can chew. Let's do it. So this is the bracket that held our old skinny standard issue RV door to the wall in our bedroom. It wasn't going to work for the new one because it's a little thicker. So I had to make one in 3D design software and then load that file into my 3D printer and make a new one. Here it is. Let's test it out. You see it keeps the door flush up against the wall, keeps it from bouncing, keeps it from impacting the door jam. And because I designed and printed it, I didn't have to pay for it. So there it is. A barn door desk. So, it works really, really well. I was quite surprised. Uh, besides looking just like a really awesome aesthetic piece to add to our rustic -y kind of bedroom, it also acts as a functioning computer stand writing desk. Uh, I took the piece of trim that's here on the bottom that's held on superficially by magnets to make it look like the barn door. But when you want to use it as a desk, you just pop that piece off and flip it upside down. It fits inside a notch here that I've carved on the bottom and supports quite a bit of weight. So, there it is. So if you like this project or you like the idea of making efficient use of a tiny space, go ahead and hammer that thumbs up button. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and you can stay up to date with all of our neat little projects and how we learn to make the most efficient use of our tiny RV home. So we'd like to thank you guys for stopping by the PI Workshop.